Our Peter Cook joins us now from Capitol Hill and with Senator Kent Conrad, chairman of the Senate Budget Committee. Peter? Thanks very much, guys. Appreciate it. I am joined by Senator Conrad, who uh, chairs the Budget Committee. And uh, last night we heard a pretty grim fiscal picture from the president. This morning it got even grimmer when we heard from the CBO. What do you make of their numbers? $1.5 trillion, the deficit this year. Well, if this isn't a wake-up call for Congress, the administration, and the nation, I don't know what it would take. Uh, look, there are deficits of about a trillion dollars a year for as far as the eye can see. Obviously, that's not sustainable. I think it reconfirms the work of the Fiscal Commission that said you got to reduce this debt by about $4 trillion over the next 10 years. And the president, of course, laid out his plan for a five-year freeze and non-security discretionary spending. Republicans say, listen, Mr. President, that doesn't cut it. That's not enough, even in the short term. Do the numbers today, in essence, back up what the Republicans are saying? Uh, no, because what the president is saying is that's just one piece of the puzzle. You also have to reform the revenue system. You also have to reform entitlements, Social Security, Medicare. In fact, the health care accounts as he indicated last night, are the 600-pound gorilla. Now, I just say to my Republican friends, the roadmap that they've put out over in the House does not balance for 53 years. Uh, they dramatically increase the debt under their plan. So, you know, what they're putting on the table is not serious. Uh, what I think is serious is the commission plan that would reduce the debt by four trillion over the next ten years. That's the size of plan we need, and it involved everything. It involved entitlements, domestic discretionary spending, revenue, and that's what it's going to take. This problem is so big when you're borrowing forty cents of every dollar you spend, it, it can't just be tinkering around the edges. So there must be some disappointment on your part when you heard the president last night talk about the fiscal commission, applaud some of their ideas, but he still has not embraced this plan. There are budget hawks, critics here in Washington say, Mr. President, you need to lead. He should have done more. Than Look, I think it would be very useful to the president to have a separate address to the nation on how serious the debt threat is to our country so that he could focus just on that question. You know, State of the Union is about all of the issues confronting the country. I think the president needs to take time to address the nation just on the question of the debt. Outline how serious the problem is and then call for a sit down of the leadership, Republican and Democrat, uh, Senate and the House and the White House has to be at the table to come up with a plan like the commission plan. We heard Paul Ryan last night, the House Budget Committee chairman, and his response uh, for the Republicans say, in essence, America's not that far away from Greece or Ireland. I've heard some Democrats take, take some shots at him for those comments. What do you make? Is he right? Are the bond vigilantes a lot closer to the door than people think? Yes, I think they are. I think the, the harsh reality here is when you are borrowing 40 cents of every dollar, you can't continue that very long. On the other hand, I would say Congressman Ryan's plan does not balance until 2063. In the interim, his plan stacks up trillions of dollars of additional debt. So that can't be the roadmap either. That's why it's imperative that there be a coming together of the two sides. Republicans and Democrats are both going to have to face up to their constituencies and tell them you can't have every tax cut you want. You can't have every spending program that you want. We have got to we got to rein this in. All right. Senator Kent Conrad, Chairman of the yes. Senate Budget Committee.